Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. I've been meaning to make this video since yesterday because I was at work and my coworker was like, have you seen what's been trending on TikTok? It's called demon face syndrome. And she thought it was something weird about it because she gets dreams from God. And we always talk about how everybody around us isn't human because I've seen people shape shift in front of me. I don't know if she have. But I was also reading how it's fewer than 100 cases worldwide. But something was like, why would they release this now? Why would they put this in the public now? I think that they know that people are going to begin to see these entities more and more. I don't know if it's because they're becoming bolder or, you know, God is just bringing the veil down. But at first, they're just trying to play it off as a medical condition. They want you to think that you're crazy when you see something that you know you saw. But what really caught my attention was um, right here, um, the man, he's 58. He was seeing how people would look almost goblin-like, faces with pointy ears, sharp noses, and wide reptilian mouths. So when I saw reptilian mouths, I knew that it wasn't a medical condition because I've seen a boy shapeshift in front of me into a reptilian. And I kept that to myself for years until I was watching Steve Quayle, who talks of the giants and answering the alien question. And in one of his seminars I was watching, he said in the 1800s, people saw a reptilian that looked like this. It was tall, over 200 people saw it. And the boy that I saw shapeshift when I was in high school, I was sitting right beside him on the bus. He was a miniature version of this. He had the red hair, just like him. He had the tusks, like the teeth protruding from the mouth. He had reptilian eyes, but his eyes had like a yellow slit. The rest was, was white and he had red skin, but he looked almost exactly like this thing on a miniature level, but with just red skin. So another thing that caught my attention about this, they call it demon face syndrome, PMO, was a 44 year old woman or she talked about, or was it a 52 year old woman? It's two listed right here, but anyway, she saw human faces morph into dragon-like visages, and she'd been seeing this her whole life. So they used to label you as schizophrenic or crazy, but now they're just saying it's a medical condition where the brain plays tricks on you or something, but we all know that's not the case. But also, another thing that caught my attention is, if you know anything about the Marine Kingdom or other reported well, other people reported seeing dragon or fish-like faces replace human faces. Keep in mind, dragon or fish-like faces replace other faces. And they go on to describe like um, how people's faces became so distorted. Like he said, one guy, his eye became a ghastly staring hole, cheekbone, a cavity. He had teeth on the upper lip, often had two ears. But what really caught my attention in this demon face syndrome was the reptilian mouth, the fish people, and the dragon people. And I want to go back to Genesis 3, 14 through 15. So the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, cursed are you above all the livestock and all the wild animals. You will crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. And he will crush your head and you will strike his heel. So God put like enmity, enmity, yeah, in war between the offspring of the woman and the offspring of the serpent. And if you go to Revelations 12, 17, then the dragon was enraged at the woman and went off to make war against the rest of her offspring, those who obey God's commandments and hold to the testimony of Jesus. So it was making me think of the seed of the serpent again, who was making war against humanity. But that's not the only thing, because I know the stuff I've seen in my life but I watched the master's voice also. And when I read this prophecy, when she posted it in 2021, it was just like more confirmation for me because I've been seeing this stuff all my life. I know I don't have a medical condition. I can't control when I see it, but I've seen it enough to know that it's a real thing. And in that prophecy, the Lord um, gave her a dream of her typical week in New York. And when she got on the train, she noticed some people around her was 
extremely uncomfortable. A flush rose on their neck, but it was not your normal flush. Not not a real flush that creeps up the collar into the face when someone is hot or embarrassed. No, these flushes showed a rainbow colored fish scales on the neck or deep green lizard scales on the neck. Some had rubbery black snake skin on their neck. Okay, let me explain this better for my own sake. Now keep in mind, she posted this in 2021. And she's seeing the same thing that they claim that people who got demon face sy- syndrome have seen. These fish scale people, these snake scale people, these black snake skin people. But this is what God showed her in a dream. And she said when she got on the train, she saw that she made those people uncomfortable because a radio signal was emitting from her that said Jesus And as she got on the train, I guess what, you know, the spirit of God living in her and just Jesus emanating or emitting from her, um, these people began to glitch and they were trying to be cool. But what they didn't know is their bodies couldn't be cool. I saw patches of fish skin, snake skin and lizard skin pop on and off of these of the cheeks, foreheads, necks and certain men and women in the train car with me. The patch of reptile or fish skin flashed clear as day, all the way down one side of the neck, disappearing into the shirt collar. But I'm just reading some of it. You can go back and read it yourself. It's called Aliens, Humanoids, and Serpent People, July the 6th, 2021. But I just found it so interesting that the same thing that people with that condition are seeing is what she saw or what a lot of us have seen, whether they're like hybrids from the marine kingdom or, you know, they're reptilian humanoids, but it's something definitely to them wanting to tell the public at this time in history or labeling this medical condition, like just putting it out there is a reason they're doing it. Another thing is I watch this channel. I can't really pronounce it. Snickers one, two, three. But you can go watch this. Dreams of the wicked leaders deceiving the world. The hours late. Things are not as they seem. And he was talking about how God gave him a dream of seeing Congress. And he saw all the people, you know, Democrat, Republicans on camera. You know, they're warring against each other, acting like, you know, they're human. They're for the people. But when the cameras cut off, he said the people morphed into grotesque creatures. And in his video, he specifically labels pointy, these pointy ears. They were deformed. They were grotesque. Some of them looked like animals, but he knew that they wasn't human. And they was just laughing like a wicked type of laugh because they knew that they were deceiving people. Now, all of us have seen things, like I said, between his dreams, definitely go listen to it between her dreams of the master's voice. And now with this PMO, like I said, the faces with pointy ears. That's exactly what the guy said. The dream of wicked um, leaders deceiving the whole world. Like just the pointy ears, the, defor- the deformities in these creatures. Because even if you go back to that example that I gave you below, like um, the dragon or the fish-like faces replace human faces. Like... This just seemed like a deformity, like when an eye become a ghastly staring hole, a cheekbone, a cavity, he had teeth on the upper lip, often had two ears. But I just wanted to share that with you guys and let you know that the hour is definitely late and they're going to lie until they can't lie anymore. Just like when God gave me the dream of rebuking the blue avatar like people. And it was so funny because in the dream, the creature was looking at me around the corner and it looked like Avatar, like how half of her face show on the front of the DVD. And I was rebuking it in Jesus name. And then to watch the news and they say that this is a medical condition. Like they, it had the exact same black hair, blue skin. And they're saying that it's a medical condition, like the blue people of Kentucky. I don't know. They're playing us for fools. They're deceiving us. But the spirit of God, you know, is showing us. So I just wanted to share that with you guys, and I pray that it's been a blessing.